It's, it's not really common to make new pasta shapes. As people who are in the pasta business, sometimes it can be a little stale. You know, it's just a lot of penne, fusilli, spaghetti. So uh, I think that's kind of why this took so well. My day starts here at the factory at about 7.45 and 8 o'clock. Another day of pasta. Just thinking about getting the day started and envisioning a trouble-free day. All right, let's head out to the plant. That does not always happen, but 80% of the time it works out. It's about 8.30, we're about ready to fire up the machines and start making pasta. This is a pasta extruder, a somewhat mid-scale in size. All right, here we go. What we have here is flour is coming up, mixing with water in the back. It's a high-speed paddle mix. That's pretty much forcing the water into the flour. It'll fall down and go into the main screw, which is where all the, the pasta is gonna eventually come out of. About 5,500 pounds of pasta we made yesterday, and we're gonna do it again today. On a given week, we're going through about anywhere between 36,000 and 42,000 pounds of flour a week. As then we have this big hopper. Essentially, this flour is getting sucked up to the top to make the dough. And uh, this is our semolina, Durham semolina. Very coarse, very yellow. The ideal flour for making dry pasta. We will go through about 6,000 pounds of flour today. This is our flour storage. Temperature in here is about 50, 60 degrees. Nice and cool, dry. So in this room, we have about a week's worth of flour that we'll, we'll go through. So actually we're sitting a little heavy on flour right now, just because we're getting ready for the holidays and we've been really, really busy. We have about 13, 13 dyes. Those 13 dyes can make all 26 of our pasta shapes or flavors. These are the dyes, bronze dyes, weighing in at about 90 to 100 pounds each. Uh, and this is what gives the pasta its shape. A lot of bigger mass-produced pasta, they use Teflon instead of brass. Rigatoni. This is the Malfoldini or Reginetti. This is the shell. And then Fusilli. Sometimes they don't look like much, but that's, that's what comes out. The pasta dyes can vary from $3,000 to $5,000 about $45,000 sitting here. The dye and the machine are the backbones of the operation, for sure. The bronze inserts are very important for us, or I should say important for the artisanal side of pasta making because of the rough texture that it adds to the pasta surface, gives it that really rough look that helps sauce adhere to it. So we're gonna push some dough through the dye, and then we're gonna put the cutter on and get ready to start going. So pretty much we're pressing it, building up pressure to where there's so much pressure that it's gonna just force the pasta through the dye. It usually takes us about five to 10 minutes to actually get really good pasta, so. So now you can kind of see it's starting to take shape. Yeah, so essentially this is, this is fresh pasta. Totally ready to eat. So if you cook this right now, it'd probably take about one to two minutes to, to, to cook. This is the cascatelli. So cascatelli is the brainchild of Dan Pashman, who's the host creator of The Sporkful. His vision of a perfect pasta shape. And then he came to us to help him produce that pasta. It's, it's not really common to make new pasta shapes. I mean, so we were originally supposed to sell 5,000 pounds and call it a day, but we've kept going. So now we've sold probably over 300,000 pounds of cascatelli now. I was a chef before I started the pasta business, before I started Sfoli. The, the best part is that I get to come in and, and do really what I, what I like to do, I enjoy making pasta and I enjoy the camaraderie of working with all of the people we have here. It's a real pleasure, it's a, it's a great part. You want probably about five pounds of pasta spread pretty evenly on the tray, not clumped up. That way it can, the air can pass through it. So you can see there's not a lot of space between these, these racks, but pretty much what happens is there's six fans in these dryers that's blowing air 
and forcing air to crisscross because you lose about 16%, 18% water. Well, that's how much we're, we're taking out. Yeah, it, it, that's how pasta becomes shelf stable. Each dryer is controlled independently, so we can start it and then we move to the next one, start it. At the end of the day, the, they, they all finish an hour after each other. You can see it's, it's hard and rigid, but it cracks, you can crumble it. The technical term is called checked if the pasta is not dried evenly and it's cracking, as opposed to this is, is solid and very strong, but this is, this is good pasta. This is 945, machines is up and running, the guys are dumping pasta. I usually take a few minutes to get some work done. Right now I have to order a truckload of flour. We're just in a bit of a negotiation to get the price a little lower, and we did. And uh, so now we're, we'll, we'll buy it. We buy probably like 750000 to a million dollars worth of flour a year. So the, the packing team has the, the job of emptying all the pasta. So and the first thing they do is they dump all 5,000 to 6,000 pounds of pasta into the totes. We make pasta one day, they pack it the next. As you can see, the totes lifted in the air. The pasta is being taken to the top, being weighed in the scale. It's called a vertical partner. So it's a vertical partner with a 14 head combination scale attached to it. Every minute this is down, we're losing packaging of about 30 boxes of pasta. And we need this thing running from morning to day, end of day, every day. So every second it's down is costing us a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of backlash. So, and it's gone down about five times in the last week. So yeah, we've been having a little problems with this machine. So we'll take a break and regroup. <laughs> we lose 18,000 pounds of pasta that we could be. I guess the better way to look at it is on average, if we per shift of pasta is about $20,000 worth of revenue. You see, they, they, they fix it, high fives all around. Our three, three main sources are e-commerce, direct-to-consumer, retail, wholesale. Everything's labeled, so I mean, usually Cavatelli starts here, Radiators, Reginetti, Trumpets, it's kind of alphabetized going that way. So this is all retail packaging. This is kind of like our whole e-commerce fulfillment area. The top three best-selling shapes are whole grain Reginetti, the Trumpets, and now Cascatelli is easily in that top three. That is a challenge, keeping people motivated, keeping people focused, because it is the work is very repetitive, but usually the machinery keeps people it's almost like playing a video game. Like there's always something to check, there's always something to look at. It's time check, it's about three o'clock. Uh, as you guys can see, all the all the empty trays are now full and everything is in the dryer. So, so we're starting to break down for the day. And as you can see, we got John, one of our new line operators. We're pushing all the pasta from this back vat into the front, and then we're gonna disassemble the machine afterwards. So we stopped all the, uh, you could kind of hear it's a little more quiet in here. So the reason we break the machine down is mostly just to get a good clean on it. Easy. So pretty much we're just doing the opposite of what we did this morning. That's just pasta, it's all pasta. Yeah, it's just two sets of screens that we use. If these screens weren't on, weren't on there, it could jam up the holes. So pretty much the die just acts as a block and there's pressure that just builds up and builds up that it eventually just pushes through the die and that's how the pasta is being made. But so what you're going to see now is the area that we didn't get out that's built up. So it's literally a 60, about a 50 pound ball of dough is going to drop out of there. This is 50 pounds of unextruded pasta. <laughs> we, we birth one of these every, every day. Yeah, it is actually. Surprisingly, it is one of the most satisfying activities of the day. But yeah, it's like a solid, it's just it's a fucking solid piece of dough. It's about five o'clock. We're just finishing cleaning up, getting everything back together. And um, 
That's today here at Spolini.